Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm really excited. So today we are outside, as you can tell, and we are finally building Blue, my Herman's Tortoise, and Koa, my box turtles, outdoor enclosure for them. This is gonna be a completely DIY outdoor tortoise enclosure with flowers and everything, and I'm really excited to show you guys what we're doing with it. So from the beginning of the building clips, you're gonna notice that Patrick has already started on this about a week ago. He just got the wood and the blocks and everything down, so you guys will see all of that where I am not present because there wasn't really much I could do for that part and he's the handyman with all of that. But now it is time to get the dirt, a little bit of topsoil, and then our flowers in there as well as our slate and things like that. So we are gonna do all of that today and I'm so excited. If you guys enjoy this outdoor DIY tortoise enclosure, feel free to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So the first thing you guys are gonna see is us going to the store and buying everything we need for this, and then I will show you how to put it together. Okay, so right now, really quickly, we are gonna go run to the home improvement store because there are a few things that we need in order to finish Blue and Koa's outdoor enclosure. I'm really excited to get this enclosure finished because I do bring Koa and Blue outside a lot, especially whenever the weather's really good. Obviously not today because it's, it looks like it's gonna rain and it's kind of sprinkling, but whenever the weather is really, really good, I do bring them outside a lot every week. And so it will be nice to finally have an enclosure instead of just Blue's little blue plastic pool. And then of course Koa, when you put him down, he just takes off across the yard. So it'll be really nice for them to have a safe enclosure. And hopefully we're gonna get some plants and some slates and things like that while we're there too. And then we are gonna set this DIY outdoor enclosure up for them and I'm really excited. All right, I love you. I love you, you ready to go? Yes, we're gonna get some flowers and some slate. Pretty flowers, oh my goodness. Beautiful. I got these petunias. I think they're really, really pretty and they are safe for tortoises to eat. So those will be good in the enclosure. They're all really pretty and they're safe for tortoises. So that's good. I got a really beautiful hibiscus because hibiscus is one of Blue's favorites and it is completely safe for tortoises. So we did get him a small hibiscus. We got everything. I'm so excited. Blue is gonna love this. All right, so we are leaving Home Depot right now. We got everything that we needed for the tortoise enclosure. Shout out to the cashier at Home Depot. He was so sweet. He gave us $5 off our hibiscus plant. So it was only a $5 hibiscus tree, which is like such a good deal. All right, we are going home now and we are gonna finish the enclosure. I'm so excited, yay. Hey, what's up guys? Today, we're gonna be building blue outdoor tortoise enclosure. It's gonna be super healthy for him to be out here in the sun all day long. This tortoise enclosure is actually really cheap, under $50 to get the basic materials to get it started. Now, you do have to do a little bit of groundwork to get this thing going. Um, and I'm gonna be showing you that today and I'm gonna show you the setup on how easy it is. Okay, so the first material you're gonna need for this project, you're gonna need some of these square blocks. They look like Legos. The way they work, you just set them down. You can actually put a spike them if you want them to be spiked but look this thing can be mobile so you really don't need that um, here you've got little notches you can actually put two buys into those notches so it makes it super easy you don't have to do any nailing you don't have to have any screws you don't have to any have any special tools you can just do all this by hand these are about two dollars and 68 cents at home depot i think they may carry them at lowe's so super cheap i have eight of them because i want to stack them on top of each other to make them a little bit taller just to make sure blue cannot get out these are two by ten by tens that's what i had bought actually got them cut at the store just for ease we are going with a six foot by three foot enclosure the reason why we went with white wood it will rot it's not too expensive we can rebuy it plus it does not have chemicals in it pressure treated does have chemicals so if you get pressure treated wood and you're gonna set it on the ground you want it with your enclosure your tortoise could potentially be in contact with chemicals if you use pressure treated lumber so make sure to not do that then just use white wood like I said this will pretty much last all season it may not last until next year we're probably gonna have to pull it up during the winter but this is a super easy project and we can just burn that wood when we're done so the reason why we decided to use this side it's gonna be six foot by three foot is because we want to uh, make sure the ease of use is there uh, you know walking out here with no shoes on is gonna be a lot easier when we can just stay on this sidewalk we're gonna lay everything out exactly the way it needs to be product wise on the ground here once we do that then we're gonna kind of level it out with this etch out where we need to be and we're gonna dig up this ground just enough to get rid of this grass and then I'm gonna show you everything later all right guys so I'm gonna put it together just real quick to kind of get an outline of where we need to be that way I can etch it with the uh, shovel and uh, they found a car, so yeah, car.
Okay, there you go. See, super easy. Took maybe two minutes, right? I got it all tightened up. So now, this is the idea of it. It is going to be two tiers tall. The wood's only going to be one tier. But the blocks are going to be two. So we're going to have two stacked up on each other. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my shovel and I'm going to go around the outside edge. I'm just going to pop the grass out because I want it to sit nice and smooth down. Now we're gonna come back with some plastic, some dirt, and we're gonna put that down on top of it. We wanna make sure once we put the dirt down to build up a little bit higher than the ground outside. And the reason why is for drainage. We don't want it to rain and then turn into a puddle. We're gonna get that set up here, so I'm gonna get the shovel. I'm gonna start trying to edge it out. Okay, so I moved in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just scalping the grass off. I'm not digging down too deep, just enough to get the grass in their roots. All right, I say that looks pretty good. There might be a little couple of pieces, but no big deal. They've been uprooted, so they're probably gonna die. So let's go ahead. We're gonna get all the lumber and the blocks put back down where they need to be. And then we're gonna double our blocks like we talked about. We'll be almost done. We'll be ready to uh, get it set up. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there are kind of some gaps. See kind of there's like a little gap in the bottom there. Not a big deal because we are going to be filling this up with dirt transplanted from another part of the yard all right guys so it is a couple of days later it rained the ground was wet you want to make sure you do this while the ground is dry it's a little bit easier to work with i actually have some dirt over here that i'm going to put into the enclosure and i'm going to build up the dirt just a little bit in order to get rid of the cracks in the bottom i also want the elevation inside of the enclosure to be higher than the outside the reason is when it rains i want the water to drain down and out under i don't want it to create a puddle in here because then we'd have to wait for it to dry in order for uh, blue to actually be able to use it so uh, let's go ahead and transplant that dirt over in here so what we're doing is we're just using this piece of plywood right here uh, just as a flat surface I'm actually just stepping on it to tamp it down. Obviously with rain and weather and over a couple of days, it's gonna naturally break apart and kind of tamp down and get harder on its own. Uh, but this just kind of helps the process a little bit fast. All right, so now that the dirt is all laid out and flattened out, now it's time to plant the flowers in here. So we're just gonna go on and plant the flowers kind of sporadically. Then we're gonna lay down the slate and then we will be able to finish this up and it will be done for the tortoise. All right, so here we have the plants and as you can see, they are in in a soil that is toxic to tortoises because it does have fertilizers and perlite in it so we're gonna have to break the dirt out of this root system the best that we can and you also can't use any types of unorganic and non pet safe types of potting soils in here so that's why we have this dirt down as it is because we had a lot of spare dirt from when we got our new shed over there so this is the dirt from where the shed used to be so it's organic there's no fertilizers or anything like that we're not going to use anything toxic that would hurt the tortoise in here and then another Another dirt source that you can use is organic topsoil. That's the best option for filling in an enclosure like this. We had a lot of dirt and even though it's not the prettiest dirt and topsoil would have been better, this is all we had so this is what we're using today. But you can use an organic topsoil that would make a perfect bottom for your tortoise enclosure. So once you have your hole, you're just going to put it down in there as deep as you can because you don't want these roots exposed and you don't want your tortoise to be able to get to that. So we're just going to put it down in there really, really deep and then we're going to fill in the hole. You want to make sure that you build the dirt up really high so you're covering all of those roots really well so that they can't be accessed by your tortoise. This dirt is really thick. It's not light and airy or fluffy at all so it packs down almost like the earth. So it packs down really, really hard. All right, so now we have all the flowers planted and you can see it looks really good. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do a really easy makeshift hide. Obviously you wanna make sure that your tortoise or turtle isn't exposed to the sun all day long. If you do have them in an enclosure like this all day, you do need to give them somewhere to go where they can get out of the sun, even if it's under a lot of plants, if you have really thick foliage. Obviously I don't have thick foliage in here because this is a brand new enclosure 
enclosure and you have to give the grass and things time to grow back. But I will show you guys how to make a really easy hide for your tortoise. So for the first side of the wall, you're gonna have to dig a hole down a little bit deep the length of the wood so that it can be flush with the top for any roof top that you want to put on your enclosure then we're going to put on the roof and we're going to drill it in so that it can't move or fall so there you can see it in there once you have the roof and the side nailed together then you can just fill in the crack along the side to make sure that that side is secure and obviously can't move which it couldn't move anyway but you still want to fill it in and make sure all the dirt inside is flat so that your tortoise can climb through and have a place to escape the sun in case they were to get too hot now you can obviously make a hide out of anything you can use a terracotta pot you can use um, a terracotta pot on its side you can use anything you want but this is just some extra wood that we had left over from cutting the sides of this so it made sense to just do a little hidey house like that now we're just going to add some slate in this slate will be really good for grinding down his nails and also feeding him on this is actually a really thick piece of rock type slate it's a little bit thicker than the one that you're you guys are used to seeing in his enclosure but I thought this was really good so and it also is a different color than the regular slate so we're gonna put this in there and he can walk across it and it'll be really good for grinding down those nails but I probably won't feed him on this one I also decided to bring Blue's water dish from his enclosure out here while he's out here so that he can have water in his enclosure. Make sure if you're leaving your tortoise out all day long, especially if it's hot, you want to make sure to always provide them a clean water dish so that they can get in, drink, and soak if they need to. Obviously, you guys know Blue lives indoors and he does get frequent soaks and he always has a water dish in his enclosure. So just like inside, you want to make sure that you provide water outside so that your tortoise doesn't overheat and they can drink and soak if they need to. But I think Blue and Koa are really going to love this enclosure I think Blue's gonna love it more just because Blue loves being outside Koa kind of gets antsy outside Koa has no interest in eating plants or flowers or anything Blue is definitely the one that loves to eat greenery and plants and things like that so he'll definitely enjoy it a lot more but I think Koa will enjoy it too sunshine is so great for your tortoises so any opportunity to get them outside or have an enclosure like this is really beneficial for them and I highly encourage it He's like, this is all new to me. Where am I? He's so cute. He's going in. <laughs> He's gonna love that hide, I know it. There he goes. Did you find a hide? He said I did. Oh, he found the flowers. He's gonna devour this whole thing before it has time to grow. He seems to really like the petunias. The petunia plant, the leaves, and the flower are safe for tortoises, so you don't have to worry about him eating it. It is completely safe for him. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I am sitting out here with Blue, and he is having so much fun. You can see he is going all over the place. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY tortoise enclosure. It turned out really well, and I think Blue is absolutely gonna love it. I am gonna see about getting a lid made for this. Um, it's gonna take a bit because this is a really large enclosure. It is six feet long, but I'm gonna see about doing that so that he can come out here without me and be completely safe. Obviously, I would never leave him unattended. I'm really protective of him, but I'm so glad that we finally got this done. It looks so good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about how we built this, I will leave all the details in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Be kind. Bye. Say bye. Bye, boo. Bye, guys.